my favorite way to source books is called replen sourcing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so a replen is just a book that you sold in the past that you wanna sell again in the future. And the idea is every time you sell a book, don't just pretend like you're just gonna move on with your life. See if you can find that book on eBay or Amazon for a similar price, maybe even cheaper, maybe a little more expensive depending on how much profit you made on a book. But I can't tell you how important this is to your business because after you've sold literally thousands of books, you wanna have a long list of books that you can go back and source again because everyone who's new in the game is trying to find that active, like that newest inventory. But if you have a long list of books that you've sourced before and have sold profitably and you can continually go back in years in the future, buy that book again and again and sell it again and again, then that's definitely gonna make a huge impact on your Amazon business. All right, enough talking. Let's jump into the screen. Let me show you three books that I just sold recently that we're going to replen source right now. All right, so the first book that we're going to look at is called The Return of the Sorcerer. And you can see I bought this on April 13th. I actually bought it for $10.68 and managed to flip it for $59.99. So let me go and show you proof of both of those. I can come up here to view this order and just click that. And you can see that this is the book down here. I bought it for $6.70 in good condition with shipping that was basically $10.68. And if I scroll down on seller app here and go under Amazon so Central and click the orders tab, you can see that it just sold 18 hours ago for $59.99. And you can see that the order status is pending, which means it hasn't shipped yet. But go back over to seller app. We can basically see that with the buy cost and the sales price, we made a $31 profit, which is actually insane. That's actually really great for this book. Now, once you sell this book, though, you know, you don't want to just forget about this book. Like, you want to see, if, is there a way that I can maybe set myself up to buy this book again in the future? So, what's actually really interesting about this book now is we can actually read Plum Source right now. For whatever reason, there's actually a copy available right now for $9.99 plus $4 shipping. So, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than what we bought it for, but we actually have real proof that we're able to slip this book for 60 bucks. And again, obviously, we're always going to check Keepa to make sure that the purchasing price makes sense. And I think it does. Like, if we look at the Keepa chart, one thing you'll notice is that, you know, the the book doesn't have very many sales rank drops, which means it doesn't sell very often. But if you look at the last 2,300 days, you can see that this book does have precedent for selling upwards of $60. And even kind of when it sells more frequently, when its price is a little bit lower, it's still right around like 20 bucks. So I think we're still getting an underpriced deal. And considering that we're able to flip it for 60 bucks, you know, I think buying this for $14 and refund sourcing it now, I mean, even if we don't even sell for 60, if we sell it for maybe 50, you know, if we pick it up for, what would this cost be over here? It'd be basically like 14 bucks. Even if we sell it, for 10 less dollars, we're still making an over 100% ROI. So this is a book that I'm gonna buy now and replen source. And basically I'm gonna go and put the cost here, which is gonna be $13.99. And I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that, well, this is gonna be a replen. I'm gonna add it to my Joji 2023 spreadsheet. But not only that, I also wanna make sure I'm tracking this book for the future because you can see right now there that under statistic, no one's tracking this book. So no one has their eyes on this book. Out of every Amazon seller on the platform over the last 2,300 days, this is a book that at times potentially has gotten down to you know that 12 to $15 purchase price, which, you know, we probably want to pick this book up at. And, you know, it's actually surprising, like 60 bucks is a lot for this book. Honestly, probably should have sold it for a little bit cheaper than that, but I'm, you know, happy to sell for that. Obviously, I think more realistic price to sell for would be around 50 bucks. So, you know, I'm going to go and set myself up and track this. And I'm going to say in use condition, anytime this book gets to a price of just, let's just say $14, including shipping, and I'm going to get rid of the acceptable offer here and just go ahead and start tracking that, then potentially we can pick up this book again. And yeah, it's not like this is a book that's going to sell super frequently, right? It might take a few months to sell like you know this copy took a few months to sell but i'm okay buying one copy of you know this book every once in a while because there's tons and tons of books that i sell that i can replen source just like this one all right so the second book that we're going to replen source right now is called the transit of venus i know i've sold this book a few times let's go down to seller ramp and go and click the orders button you can see that i actually sold it a month ago for 57 dollars and then just sold it again 17 hours ago for 50 dollars. that's pending right now so we have real you know actual evidence that i've been able to sell this book for over 50 bucks now over here on amazon.com you can actually see i purchased this for eight dollars and 79 cents. You know, so in total, it looks like we made a profit of $24 on this book. So again, we're not just gonna forget about this book and pretend like it never happened. We're gonna see if we can replen source this again. And what's really interesting about this book is you can see that you could pick it up for basically $9 right now. You can see that there's a couple copies that are in acceptable condition, but then there's one down here for about, looks like maybe $13, $13.22 that you can pick it up. So, you know, if we just put that in value in 13.22, you know, we'd still be making over 100% ROI and we'd be able to replen this product. Now, again, going down to the keep chart, we'd have to make sure that does this actually make sense? And again, the reason why I pulled the trigger on this in the first place is because I had seen that this book had multiple sales rank drops at over 60 bucks. So there was actual precedent of this book selling for that much. And again, for books that are really old like this, you can see this came out, let's scroll down to the bottom. This came out in 1980. So this book is over 40 years old, which is a really old book. If we look at the last 3000 days, this book has kind of been all over the place, but there is repeated history of this book selling for significantly more than what I bought it for, right? I bought it for basically nine bucks. There's a lot of sales rank drops around 30. So if this book could potentially sell upwards of 60, can sell 30 
I think the price that I was buying at $8 is literally like almost the cheapest you could buy a book for on Amazon. So I felt really good about that. And you know, this is a book that I wouldn't say, you know, it's an amazing replan, but I mean, again, you know, it's five people tracking this and I was able to flip it twice, make some pretty good money off of both of them. It basically made over $20 each time I flipped it. And I think this is a book that I could probably flip again in the future for right around the same price. Okay, the third book that I'm gonna show you that we're gonna replan source is actually a book that just sold two hours ago, sold it for $75. This is another really old book. Let's go and open this up on Amazon. So the first thing you can see that this is the book I bought in very good condition for $19.21. So the profit on this book was basically $34, which is great. I mean, that's 180% return on investment. The question is, can we replan the sources? Can we buy it again? Again, this is a book that came out in 1968, which is a long time ago. This is a, a book that potentially could be undervalued. If we go to Keepa again, we notice that, hey, we have multiple sales rank drops of this book at over $50. Like here's four sales rank drops or maybe three sales rank drops over 50. If you look at the last 2,900 days, even though this book doesn't sell for a lot, the lowest use price is always really high. And you can see that this book can sell for $50 pretty easily. So is it possible for us to source this again? Well, I went over to eBay and I actually was able to buy it again. So you can see I just bought it today, July 21st, and I bought it for 16.74, you know, uh, GDP, which is about $22 USD. You know, so if we go and put 22 as the cost price instead, and if we were to able to sell this again for 75 bucks, you would see we'd make a $30 profit. But again, you know, look at Keepa. I said, realistically, this book should probably sell for right around like 50 to 60 bucks. So if it sells for 60, then we'd be making almost 100% ROI. And this is something that we could replan again in the future. Again, this is something that we want to set ourselves up for so we can track this product. You can see I'm already tracking it because you know, I've already looked at this book when I sold it, but you no, know, I'm tracking this. Anytime it gets below $20, then let me know. I think that's undervalued enough that you, know, you could buy it for 20, flip it for maybe 50 to 60, maybe even up to 75, which I sold it for. And that's a book that we can continue to make profit again and again in the future. Now, a really important lesson here is that not every book that you sell right now, you are you in you know, the now, a really important lesson to consider though is not every book that you sell right now is going to be able to be replanned immediately. Like a lot of books that you sell are not going to be profitable to buy today because their price is you know, significantly higher than what you bought the book for. But you should still be setting yourself up tracking books for the future because potentially the book can become undervalued enough that you can buy it again. And you could replant in the future. So here's an example of a book that we actually found during a live stream. And I'll go and link up the live stream right here. Uh, the one that we actually found this book in, but we bought it for 1076 and was actually able to flip this for, let's go down here at seller amp look at orders yeah we're able to sell this for 66.48 so if we put that buy cut or that sell price in for 66.48 because we made a 37 dollars profit a 350 percent return on this book which is absolutely insane now notice that the lowest use price is 62 dollars which is significantly further away from the purchase price of 1076 right so we can't refund sources right now but what we notice about this keeper graph is that there's been a lot of sales rank drops over 30 you can see that there's potentially even a sales rank drop at 60 we sold ours for over 60 then you can actually see a few copies sold out and then this you know jumped right back up i was able Able to sell mine for a pretty good amount. If we look at the last 4,500 days, again, this is a book that consistently shows selling for good money over 40, 50 bucks. And the interesting thing about this book, though, is that you do see periods of time where it, it was dirt cheap, like back here, July 29th. A few years ago, you could have picked it up for seven cents plus shipping. But this is a book that holds value. You can see that its offer count right now is really low in the grand scheme of things. So this is something we would set ourselves up for in the future by tracking. And what's actually fascinating is that there's only one other person tracking this and tracking it for 10 bucks. Now, I would say, considering that we sold ours for 60, I'd say, you know, we bought it for $10.76. Anytime this gets to $12 or less free shipping, like let us know. I'm not really interested in an acceptable offer, but let us know. Over the next 10 years, we might be able to buy this book another 10 times and sell it another 10 times, right? And again, when we track a book, we're gonna get notified. It's gonna show up in Keepa. You can get a text message to our phone. We can even get an email notification. But yeah, this is a great book for a replant in the future. All right, here's another book, The Art of Hunting Big Game in North America. Really cool book. Uh, that we recently sold. Looks like we bought it for sixteen ninety eight. And if we go down to the orders tab, you can actually we, you can actually see we just sold it one. You can actually see we just sold it one day ago for sixty bucks, and you can see that the order status is pending. Now over here, back on the Amazon listing, you can see that you know if we sold it for that price, and we made a twenty three dollar profit. So can we repo the source? It actually turns out that it's cheaper than what we bought it for, or at least it looks like that right now on Amazon. Yeah, you can buy it for $11, which is actually five or six dollars cheaper than what we bought it for. Unfortunately, all four of those copies are in acceptable condition. So if those were in good condition, then I would definitely pull the trigger and buy at least one more copy of this. But let's go down to the key chart again, figure out why would I buy this? And then also 
you know, is this something we think we can sell again in the future? Well, multiple sales range drops of this book over $40. That means there's precedent people spending upwards of $40 for this book. If we look at the last 3,800 days, you can see that even though this book ebbs and flows in price, there's plenty of, you know, data to support that this can sell for well over 35 bucks, even potentially as high as $90. So that made me feel comfortable that what I'm buying is undervalued. And again, this is a book that came out in 1977. It's an old book, right? Not to worry about there being, it looks like it actually says second edition. So maybe there is a third edition, but there's enough historical data to suggest that this is a book that's going to sell over and over again. Now, again, setting it ourselves up for the future, you know, we were able to sell for 60. And I think that's a little bit inflated, honestly, like probably we should have aimed to sell for right around 45, which is honestly what I was trying to do is to make a $10 profit on this book. But, you know, what we do notice is that this book can get pretty cheap. So we can see, you know, back here in 2021, it got as low as $10.45. Factually right now, it's as low as $11. So again, this is something that we could track and try to set ourselves up for the future. So you can see I'm actually tracking this for $17 free shipping. So maybe I should track it for a little bit less, but hey, I was able to flip it make some pretty good profit on this book. All right, and here's yet another book, Study of History, that we sold recently. This came out in 1972, also a really old book. Looks like we purchased this for 1761. We can come down here to the orders page, get on Celeram, and you can see that this sold three days ago for $52.94. So we plug in 52.94. You can see we basically made 100% ROI, we made $17 profit. Can we replen source this right now? It doesn't look like it, because on Amazon, it's about 40 bucks, but we scroll down to the key chart. You can see this is when I bought it, when the price dropped all the way down to you know 589 plus shipping. So. Is that right? Did I buy it? Yeah, that's when I bought it. So you can see, I probably bought that with Keepa Deals, but this is a book that has historical sales rank drops over 70, over 50. So this is a book I knew could sell for some pretty good money, at least has precedent of doing that. We also see sales a little bit lower, right? Around 30 bucks. But again, we expand the data to the last 2,900 days. This is a book that multiple times in the past has sold upwards of 100. Like back in 2019, this was selling for over 150 bucks. So this is a book that for whatever reason has a, can have a ton of value. And a book like this is, you know, its price is probably just dependent on the offer count at the time. But we do also see, you know, periods of time where this was really cheap. Like back here on April 11th, we could have picked this up for about five bucks plus shipping. That was back in 2020. So this is a book that we definitely want to track because it, we can set ourselves up for future for replen sourcing. So what I'm gonna do is track this product. I'd, I'd say anything under $18 free shipping, just let me know. Maybe maybe we can pick it up over the next 10 years and we're setting ourselves up for the future. Okay, enough of tracking. Let me show you a book that I've actually set up a tracker for that I was actually able to replen today based upon getting notified of this book hitting the tracker. So again, this is a book that I kind of set up a tracker for in the past. Let me show you. So Whole Body Listening Larry at School, it's second edition, it's a staple bound. So this looks like a textbook if you go down to keep a chart. You can actually see that at really two times, actually three times over the past year, this has kind of undergone repricing wars, gone down to as low as like 15 bucks. I was actually able to pick up a couple copies back here on May 2nd. You can actually see that under my order details. So you can see I picked up one copy here on May 3rd for 1660. And then the second copy here for 1664. Now heading back over here to Keepa, you can see this is a book that has had multiple sales running drops over 60, even over 80. If we look back to the last 2,400 days, looks like this was actually being sold new for right around 30. The sales rank of this was amazing. And then, you know, basically all the new sellers, they probably were a lot fewer. They decided the list was a lot higher, but we see multiple sales rank drops in used condition over, you know, 75 or 80 dollars. If we come over here to Seller Up again, we click the orders tab. You can actually see that I was able to sell both copies that I bought. So I sold one on May 26th and one on June 22nd. And I sold both for over 90 bucks. You can see payments complete. So obviously, you know, the profit on these books was pretty amazing. This is a book that in the future I want to source again. You can actually see over here in Seller Up, basically the profit was over 50 bucks per book. So I made over $100 just on this one book. And then, you know, basically after buying this in May, I decided to set a tracker because I thought, hey, maybe this is a book that can do this again in the future. So I went ahead and set a tracker. Let's see what I set the tracker for. It looks like I set for $17 free shipping. And this just hit my notification today. You can actually see that there's been a repricing war. You know, today's July 21st. You can actually see that the price of this dropped from $21 all the way down to $12.87. So I got notified and I was actually able to replen source. I was able to buy it again today. You can see just bought it once again today on July 21st. You can see here's the book down here. I'm actually gonna use rewards points to buy this book for zero dollars because I know that this would be a great flip. And yeah, so I was able to walk out the door with this for, for basically zero dollars using the Amazon Prime Rewards Visa credit card. Literally the best credit card to use for Amazon Amazon Flip. So definitely watch this video here if you're interested in that. Basically, no annual fee credit cards, like a $120 gift card sign up bonus, and you get 5% back in every purchase. You can use those points as cash back, or you can use it to redeem it for rewards points. I was able to redeem rewards points for this, basically pay zero dollars. And it, you know, going back to the actual listing, you know, we don't even need to sell this for $92 to make money. Like we could even be much more conservative and try to sell for 50, we'd still make 100% ROI on this book. Now, of course, probably my max price on Be Cool, I'm gonna go upwards of 
90 again and probably min price right around like 50 because I do think this book inherently, you know, should sell for right around 50 to 60 bucks, potentially more depending on, on when it is. It looks like it is a textbook, so it has maybe a little bit of seasonality. But yeah, that's kind of just a really basic guide to replen sourcing. And to be honest, right, it's really hard to cover this concept in a short video. I mean, this is probably not even a short video. It's probably like 15 plus minutes long. But that's just a small sample size of the books over the last couple of days that I've sold that I'm replenning, right? So once you've sold thousands and thousands of books, you have a long list of books that you have keep a notification set for. You have your own list of books that you're trying to reverse source on eBay. And so much of this business is just finding out what works, taking books that have actually sold for profit, trying to buy them again and resell them over and over again. And I can tell you that there's books that I've sold over 10 times that have, you know, that are 40, 50 years old. There's books that I've sold less times, but you know, the point is, it's a really great way to find a competitive edge because, you know, all the other sourcing techniques that I show on this channel are all about active sourcing, finding the books now. But once you found a book, don't just shy away from it. You know, always think, can I source this again and again and again in the future? And a lot of times you can, you just be smart about that by having a long list of books to do that. It's a little bit more advanced to do that, but definitely setting key pullers, kind of more beginner way to do that is a great way to help your business grow. So if you really like this content, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, share it with other people. And if you have any other suggestions for what we should do, let me know down in the comments below. But that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.